Jamie, what is, out of all your years at NDSU, what would be your favorite NDSU memory? I would say the Students Today Leaders Forever Pay It Forward tours. Those were incredible. But I traveled abroad in Korea and just the program of um, traveling through NDSU, being a foreign exchange student, was unbelievable and so easy to do and I, I would highly recommend it to anyone who's who's interested in traveling. I'd, I'd probably have to say my senior design project was, uh, was really fun. Uh, we built a robot uh, here on campus. And it's been four and some months, four years and some months of great times in Fargo. Although so many people think that here is not cool, but we found it really cool, great people, and we really have had uh, so much, so many experiences, great experiences. I went rock climbing a lot at the Wellness Center. I also went to Frisco, so that was really fun. And then turning in our senior design project, definitely one of the better <laughs> moments of college. <laughs> Probably getting tapped into Blue Key Honor Society, because that has just been such a huge thing for me this semester. My favorite NDSU memory actually starts off with me falling flat on my butt on the ice a couple winters ago. And I can't tell you how many hands I had reaching down to say, hey, let's let's get to class. You can make it. <laughs> um, I would say the Blue Key Homecoming Show when I was in, when I did my undergrad at NDSU, I was the president of Blue Key. So I got to see the inner workings of everything behind the scenes. And the Homecoming Show has so much tradition. And so many people come, and that's where they crown the Homecoming King and Queen. So the NDSU Homecoming Show would be my favorite tradition. What advice would you give to freshmen, those scared first year students hiding in their residence hall? Um, to maybe calm their nerves. Um, everybody is terrified like you are, so just get out there and talk to people. Introduce yourself, get out of your comfort zone. Read your textbooks as much as possible, and don't skip on that. <laughs> don't procrastinate, don't do it to yourself. Um, just never give up. Uh, whatever you do, just stick with it, stick through it. Uh, set your goals high and uh, prosper. Um, to not be afraid to talk to faculty. Don't set yourself up for 8 a.m. classes if you're not fully committed to going. Favorite advice? Probably just not to be so critical of yourself. I mean, this is college. You learn, make mistakes, and you move on. And Use your advisor to your best advantage. They are there for you. Uh, any future plans for you, Mr. Roach? Um, I will be going to China in about three weeks to teach English, and then I'll be coming back in uh, several months after that, about seven or eight, and going to law school. Um, I'll be teaching somewhere. I'm subbing right now, English education, so just hopefully getting a job around here, and we'll see. I'm moving to Minneapolis. I have a job with Medtronic. Um, I'm going to go travel for a little while first. We're both actually working for Kimley Horn in St. Paul. I'll be in the structures department. And I'll be in land development. I'm actually going to be a full-time producer at WDAY. I do have a job for now, but I am applying to the master's program here at NDSU and a couple other schools, so I'm pretty excited to keep moving on. Uh, I took a full-time position with an agriculture company um, it, close to Grand Forks, North Dakota. Um, I actually start Monday. There's really no, there's really no uh, transition period for me. I start on Monday. Future plans, Michael. Uh, as of right now, I got a job offer, um, so I'm trying to decide what to do, and I got more on the way. So, just trying to make sure I pick the right thing. Hot commodity. <laughs> well, some would say so. <laughs> <laughs>